Okay, let's talk about some of the customs I've made. Um, this is an original Smeagol Superman head placed on the new Meagol body. And I managed to salvage an original suit, which I had to create a new cape for. Uh, the boots I bought from Figures Toys Company, Classic TV Toys, which you could get. Um, the only thing I don't like about the boots um, from Classic TV Toys is they rip fast. So I tried to fix the problem by putting tape in the back for now, you know. Um, but it's still a pain in the you-know-what. I could always find a way to fix that problem, but for right now, that's how I have it. Um, so he looks great. Original suit, you know. Original Mego head. I like this guy, so. Original. So let's talk about the customs I've made. Um, this is Batman, of course, with a uh, complete repro body from Classic TV Toys, which I don't like. I prefer the Mego ones. The uh, Classic TV Toy ones need to be replaced because they're just, I don't know. They're just not as durable. They won't survive hard play. Uh, but fortunately, this is just a collection, you know. Um, I painted the helmet a metallic way, you know. The, the mask is totally removable. And obviously the clothes are hand sewn. Best I could do. These boots are intact, by the way. Um made the gauntlets and everything's custom made by me I'll probably have this bad boy for sale today along with soups um, you know I have I have plenty of the originals so I could sacrifice a loss you know uh, here's another Batman custom that I made recently I put some pictures up already I made the outfit of course complete custom job Made the cape. Uh, the head and the mask was from the Mattel line that they created. Um, didn't care much for the Mattel body, so it just didn't have that meagle feel. And I know that a lot of you guys feel the same way as I do. So I just put this bad boy on a uh, meagle body. And I created the, uh, the bat clothes that go with it handmade pain in the ass because I don't know how to use a sewing machine so it's tedious when I do it by hand but you know all in all it's a it's a hobby and I think it was a job well done regardless so so this one was a joy to do you can tell me what you think of him later this one is still a work in progress I made the outfit I ordered the head from a sculptor. I forget his name. I painted it. You could paint the head any color you want. I chose the black traditional one. Uh, the suit is uh, homemade, but well, well uh, put together. As you could see, the belt I made. He just needs a cape, godlets, boots, emblem, and the black cape, and he's ready to go. Tell me what you think of this guy. So that's bats, all right, so. And then uh, here's my numerous customs here, among many. We'll go over all the customs. Um, I didn't take the scarecrow out of the bag. Obviously, uh, the body was from Classic TV Toys Monster Line. I like the glowing hands. The Scarecrow head was an original Mego Scarecrow from The Wizard of Oz. I just made him uh, scary looking, as you can see. And I gave him a sharp sickle so he could use. And uh, he looks menacing now. So perfect Scarecrow villain for Batman. All right. Let's just put him on the side here. All right. Let's uh, showcase my Lex Luthor. From uh, Figures Toys line, um, from the Superboy uh, thing. 
I had to shrink the head because the head was severely big. It almost looked that it belonged in a nine inch body. It's probably bigger than the Flash Gordons that Meagle made. So I had to shrink the head and place them in this body. Um, but you know what? I'm going to make a, a Ming the Merciless head. Because I think, uh, I think he make a great Ming the Merciless. And, uh, I'll show him off when I'm done with him, okay? Uh, tell me what you think of Lex Luthor. And then we have Nightwing. Several customs I made on Nightwing line. Uh, let me see. Okay. I need better lighting in here so you can see him better. Uh, suit was designed by me. Um, the head. Let's see if I can get a better picture. I'm not getting a clear shot here. Sorry about that. Anyway, uh, Figures Toys made a really good looking um, sculpt for uh, Nightwing. And uh, I think it looks great. If only I could keep it in focus. Not enough so you could see it. Here we go. Much better. All right. Yep. Hand sewn outfit. Um, he's on a real Mego body. So obviously, very opposable. Very opposable. And there are several others. Let's see if we could find the rest. Uh, let's put him over here. Uh, let's see. Custom Cyborg. Also uh, put on Amigo body. And the parts are from uh, Figures Toy Company. But the head, the head is from a sculptor. I got it on eBay. And I painted it. And hand-sewn outfit and I think he looks great tell me what you guys think and I'm not going to showcase all of them because they're just too numerous I mean I went over the top here um I wanted Martian Manhunter to be taller for correct size proportions and I got the head from a uh, figures toy company and um, I put it together uh, one of those Marvel bodies from this was a Green Goblin body, but now I turn him into Martian Manhunter cape made by me, and the rest of the clothes were ordered the shorts and the boots that was uh, ordered. So, as you can see, he's a little taller than the rest, and that's how he's supposed to be. So, he looks great. So we'll put him aside here and then um, I'll show you the rest of my collection in a little bit in the next video. Tell me what you guys think.